Appalling, negligent, abusive. Those are some of the words lawmakers today used to describe a recent rash of horrific patient care problems at VA hospitals around the country. Military reporter Mike Gooding has the alarming details. 11 suspicious deaths last year involving fatal insulin injections at a VA hospital in West Virginia led to today's hearing. The VA's Office of Inspector General told the House Veterans Affairs Committee on Oversight that the problem is more widespread than just the West Virginia cases. My office has detailed incidents where physician care did not meet VHA standards and episodes where veterans were placed at risk or harmed as a result of too many months of unchecked substandard care. The Veterans Health Administration said the mistakes and misdeeds are deeply disturbing and extremely troubling, but not the norm. VA is committed to ensuring that veterans receive safe, high quality health care. We know that some staff do not uphold VA's values, and we will hold accountable anyone that provides poor care or commits crimes in our facilities. Other high-profile cases include a pathologist at a VA hospital in Arkansas who, over 11 years, botched diagnoses for over 3,000 patients, three of whom died. He's been charged with manslaughter and fraud. And in Georgia, a veteran recently died in a VA nursing home after receiving over 100 ant bites. The Government Accountability Office recommended the VA do a much better job identifying clinicians who are negligent, abusive, or committing criminal acts. Strengthening policies and oversight of VA medical centers credentialing and reviews of provider clinical care when concerns are raised are key to decreasing the risk that our veterans and the general public will be exposed to unsafe care. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.